Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a set of Minecraft Java shaders and these are called CUDA shaders and for those of you who don't know these are actually a set of legacy shaders which were made a few years back but they work completely fine in the latest release of Minecraft and as you can see in the top left corner there I am running the latest release of Minecraft which is version 1.17.1 and they're fully compatible with Optifine for version 1.17.1 and they also work with Iris shaders for version 1.17.1. I really do like these shaders because they do maintain that vanilla look as well as added extra graphics like the water, the clouds and the sun. So if you have a look at the water here, I think it looks so realistic. This is actually one of my favorite types of water graphics that I've seen in shaders. My number one favorite is actually Seuss Need. I think the water graphics in that one looks so nice and the Oceano shaders as well. The water graphics look so nice in that one. So these shaders actually do a really nice job of making the water look realistic. So as you guys can see, we can see through the water and we've got some nice reflection there as well. Let's take a look at what it looks like underwater. But yes, you guys can see. Do you have the blue color there? In terms of the clouds, everything looks really nice. As you guys can see, it is based on a realistic type of look. And we do have moving clouds as well. I do like these kind of clouds. I think they're less intrusive and quite realistic as well. Really add to that realistic type feeling. And if you have a look at the sun there in the distance, it's rounded and it's not too much in your face. It's not squared either. So these shaders have definitely done a nice job to keep those type of realistic type graphics combined with that vanilla type look so if we go and land we can see we still have the vanilla type land here and the trees as well so if you're looking for a shader pack that's got both vanilla and nice graphics combined with a nice performance added to it then i would definitely recommend that you give this shader pack a go it's really cool if you are using optifine you do get to change a few settings as well in the shader pack so let me just show you quickly if i go to options video settings shaders click on the cuda shaders and then select shader options you can see that i can change my profile so i can change it to low medium high ultra cinematic as well let's keep it on ultra we can change other stuff in here as well which is really cool that they allow us to change all these other options like the shadow resolution and all this other stuff here you can also change the weather options as well and then you've got the post process options as well as you can see surface options water options and then we've got the experimental section here which you can play around with as well if we go to blur effects we can turn on depth of field distance blur as well and then turn on motion blur so let's have a look at that how it looks Let me just put down a block here and a block there. So as you guys can see, I'm not staring at this block, but the stuff in the background is quite blurred. But when I look at the block in the distance, the, the one that's near me becomes blurry as well. That's a really nice effect, as you guys can see there. I'm looking at this block and the trees in the background there and everything else is blurred out. It's another nice effect that we've got going on here. So I'm going to show you guys how to download and install this shader pack and I'm also going to show you how to download and install Optifine for version 1.17.1 and also how to download and install Iris shaders for version 1.17.1 and get the CUDA shaders running with both of them. Alright, so the first thing we need to make sure is that we've got the latest version of Java because that is going to help us to install Optifine and Iris shaders because they both come with their own installers and by having Java installed, it's going to make our lives so much easier. So if you open up your internet browser and just start typing in Java JDK 16. And then go to the link, which is the oracle.com link. And don't worry, guys, I will leave a link in the description for all of the downloads I'm going to show you today. So if we just scroll down and if you look for where it says Windows X64 installer, because I am on a Windows machine. So I'm going to download this file. It is a big file. It's 150 megabytes, but it is a required file for getting the installer to work so let's just wait for that to finish downloading and i'll be right back all right so as you guys can see java jdk 16 has finished downloading all right so the next file we need to download is optifine so in your search bar just type in optifine 
Minecraft. And it's going to be the first link again, which says the Optifine.net link, which is the main website for Optifine. And once you're on this web page, just click on downloads. You will see a section for the latest release, which is 1.17.1 as of today's date. Click on the preview versions. Now, the latest release of Optifine for Minecraft 1.17.1 is called the pre-32 version. And if we go to the change log, we can see that as of today, it's still not compatible with Forge but they have fixed some other stuff for the shaders and everything else. So we go back and click on this mirror link here. It should start downloading for you. All right, so as you guys can see, Optifine has finished downloading. So let me close this down. And the next file we're gonna download is Iris Shaders. So in your search bar, just type in Iris Shaders. And the link we need to go to is irisshaders.net. And then click on download now and download this universal jar file. All right, so as you guys can see, Iris installer has finished downloading as well. And we can close down this tab and the next file we need to download is the CUDA shaders file. So in your search bar, type in CUDA shaders 6.1 legacy, because that is the version we need to get. And if we scroll down now, you do have a choice of selecting any one of these links. And let's just go for this one, which is the first link here. And I will leave a link in the description for you guys, so you guys don't have to go around searching for this. And uh, let's click on CUDA Shader 6.1 Legacy over here, and it should open up the download. And as you guys can see, it's finished downloading as well. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put all these files on my desktop, and then I'm going to show you guys how to install them and get the CUDA shaders working. All right, so as you guys can see, I've put all the files on my desktop, and the first thing we're going to do is to install Java. So just double-click this installation file for Java JDK 60. And as you guys can see, I am getting a message that says the software has already been installed on your computer. I'm going to reinstall it just to show you guys what the installation looks like. Let's go ahead and do that. And as you guys can see, it now says the Java JDK 16 has been successfully installed. So click on close. Let's move this out of the way. So the next file we're going to install is Optifine. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we are installing Optifine and Iris shaders. So do bear that in mind that these two are completely separate mods. So you can either use Optifine to install the shaders or you can use Iris shaders as well. You have a choice of both. So you don't need to put them and install them at the same time. They are different mods. Okay, so let's right click on the Optifine jar file, hover over where it says open with, and then select Java platform messy binary. And thanks to installing Java, as I did earlier, it's open up the installer as you guys can see. So let's click on install and wait for that to finish. Okay, so as you guys can see, it does say Optifine is successfully installed. So click OK, close that down. Let's move this out of the way. And the next file we're going to install is Iris Shaders. Right click on the jar file, click on open with, and then select Java platform messy binary. Wait for that to open up the installer. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is the Iris installer. For addition, it won't let you select anything. It will just say Iris and Sodium. For the game version, we're going to select the latest version, which is 1.17.1. Install directory, keep it the same. Now, you do have an option here. If you don't intend on using any mods for Fabric, because Iris Shaders is based off Fabric, so if you don't intend on using any mods, keep this ticked. But if you do want to use mods with the shader pack, then untick this. And this will allow you to actually put mods into the mods folder and use Fabric alongside Iris Shaders and then play with mods and shaders at the same time. So let's keep that ticked for now and click on install. And as you guys can see, it now says installation succeeded. So let's close this down. Let's move this out of the way. Now let's open up the Minecraft launcher. All right, so as you guys can see at the bottom left here, we do have something else that's showing apart from latest release. So it says Optifine. So you can see it also says Iris and Sodium. So if we click on the installation section here at the top, you will see it says Optifine for version 1.17.1. And this is the pre-32 release. And it also says Iris and Sodium for version 1.17.1. Now, the next thing we need to do is actually place the shader file into the Minecraft directory. So to do that, it's really simple. Just highlight any one of these lines over here you could also highlight latest release or any one of these and just click on the folder icon over here. 
and this should open up your Minecraft directory. So close down the launcher and if we go into our main Minecraft directory, you should see a folder that says shader packs over here. If you don't have this folder, right click anywhere on an empty space, click on new, click on folder and then rename it to shader packs. Now, if we go inside the shader packs folder, we will see that it's actually empty at the moment. So let's put the CUDA shader zip file into the shader packs folder, as you guys can see. So it should look something like this on your system as well. And then we can close this down. And let's launch the Minecraft vanilla launcher again. And let's go to installations. And now basically we can either run Iris and Sodium or we can run Optifine. So let me show you Iris and Sodium first of all. I'm going to click on the play button here. And let's wait for the game to load. All right, so once the game loads with Irish shaders, you should see at the bottom left here, it says Minecraft version 1.17.1 slash fabric. So we will know that Irish shaders has been installed successfully. Now click on the options and then go to video settings. And if you have a look at this section here, it looks completely different to what the normal game looks like. And you can either click on general quality advanced to change all these other settings, but let's go to the shader packs section, click on CUDA shaders and then click on apply and then click on done. Let's close it down. Now, if we go to single player, create new world, just create a normal survival world and then click on create new world. There we go. So as you guys can see, it's now loaded us into the game with the CUDA shaders installed and everything looks so much nicer. So as you guys can see, we've got the really nice water there, the sun coming in through the mountains and the trees there. And then we've got the sun's rays and shadows as well as you guys can see and what you'll find is that with iris shaders you will get better performance however you can't change any of the shader pack settings so these are the settings that you will be left with so you can't actually go in and enable stuff like depth of field or change the profile so just bear that in mind with Irish shaders you can't actually change the settings but you will get better performance because it does come with sodium which is one of the performance mods so if you do want to change your shader settings then you will have to use Optifine okay so let's go ahead and switch over to Optifine so I can show you how to enable the shader in that as well let's click on save and quit the title let's close this down let's open up our Minecraft launcher again Okay, so let's go into installations again, and this time hover over where it says Optifine for version 1.17.1, and then just click on play, and let's, let's wait for that to load up the game. All right, so as you can see at the bottom here, it says Minecraft version 1.17.1 modded, and if we go to options, click on video settings, you will notice there is a button here that says shaders, so we know that Optifine is installed. Click on shaders, Click on CUDA shaders to activate it. And now you've got the option to go into shader options and change your profile in here and then change the other settings as well. Let's go back into single player, click on new world, which we created earlier. And as you guys can see, it's now loaded us into the game with the CUDA shaders as well loaded and everything looks nice as it did before. So hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please do give us a like. And if you have any comments or queries about using the shader pack or any other queries on how to install Optifine for version 1.17.1 or how to install Iris shaders for version 1.17.1, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try and help you guys out. And also please do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.